Hey there, Foxy Gamers! Welcome to this week's Top Roller Coasters from the Planet Coaster Workshop. These are based on many factors including realism, scenery, uniqueness, great in-game stats, and how much I would like to ride them in real life. I usually have trouble narrowing my selections down to 10, but this week was unfortunately the opposite. There are definitely plenty of available coasters with high stats, for those of you who don't care about using the POV camera, but for me, it seemed like almost everything was giving me motion sickness this week, so this time I'll be showing more of each coaster between critiques since there are less of them. Number 5. Murdenaster I think the natural scenery of trees and waterfalls are underrated, although I think maybe a little more care should have been taken when placing so they didn't intersect the track. Don't mind the tree roots showing, that was just me messing up the placement. There are definitely some wobbly portions on this ride, and it's a little more spread out than I usually prefer, but overall the track feels good and has a pretty nice consistent speed. Number 4. Caverna This coaster has a great rhythm to it with the turns and loops weaving in and out of the cavern, although this one also has a couple spots here and there that could use a bit of smoothing out. It's cool to see other parts of the track peeking up above the rocks as you're riding it, and I really like the use of lights. Number 3, Westworld. It's not common for me to feature coasters that you can't plop into your own park, but this was kind of a weird week so I included this one. I feel like it's unrealistically spread out across the map and I think overall the speed is too fast, but it does do a nice job of utilizing hills, loops, and turns to help make it not feel quite as bad. The track is very smooth overall and obviously the scenery and land sculpting are pretty cool. Our runner-up is Wood Racer. Once again, Jens has mastered the art of track design. The track is nearly flawless in its banks and drops, although it's a bit less compact than some other designs from the same creator. It still looks nice aesthetically and has fantastic stats. Alright, so my number one favorite coaster of this week is Fantastic Flying Machines. Zaphor, you have done it again, my friend. You can see for yourself how incredibly unique and detailed this coaster is with its steampunk design, and once again the track wraps around the scenery beautifully without sacrificing its control. Obviously this is a case where the scenery isn't actually that realistic, but I easily got past that. So what did you think? Do you agree with these selections? I encourage you to subscribe to these coasters in the workshop. The link is provided below. Thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, stay foxy.